Howdy, bestie viewers. Do you find it hard to turn your brain off at night? This can keep you from getting sleep. There are just so many thoughts spinning around in your head. In today's video, we'll discuss ways to calm your thoughts so you can sleep easier. Should you keep a journal? What about breathing exercises? What exactly is worry time? We're talking all of this and more. Number one, create some worry time in your nightly routine. Your racing thoughts can sometimes get the best of you. According to research, overthinking before bedtime, even if they aren't anxious or concerned, may lead to sleep issues. Your brain gathers new information all day long. We don't get any peace until we climb into bed. This is when all that information, including your fears, comes crashing down. If you frequently wake up in the middle of the night with a racing mind, something may be upsetting you more than you'd like to admit. It's usually an indication that something stressful is going on in your life. You can try to schedule some worry time in your nightly routine to calm your racing thoughts. You cannot eliminate fears. In fact, the more you tell yourself not to be stressed, the more likely you're going to get stressed. The results of the study revealed that if participants feel worried on a given day, they experienced higher sleep disruption at night. Scheduling a worry time before bed can be beneficial. Select a little time to sit quietly. Allow yourself to go over all the things that are bothering you, as well as some possible solutions. You may discover that you worry less or sleep better as a result. Write down your anxieties for 15 to 30 minutes a day, at least one to two hours before bedtime. Try to come up with at least one item that'll assist you in dealing with the problem. Thinking about all those possible stress triggers early in the day will help you worry less about them when you go to bed. Number two, keep a gratitude journal. Now that you've gotten rid of your anxieties, it's time to fill the gap left by those negative thoughts. Write down the things you're grateful about. When done regularly, practicing gratitude generates pleasant sentiments and can contribute to a sense of well-being. Research states that individuals who are grateful report higher levels of psychological, social, and physical well-being. It also suggests that grateful people may have better physical health as a result of improved sleep quality and other factors. When you write down your good ideas, they have a stronger influence. So each night, take a few minutes to write down three to five things you're grateful for. It's not even necessary to have a physical diary. It might be as basic as a phone note. Number three, allow your muscles to completely relax. It's not uncommon to have problems falling asleep. According to studies, about one third of adults suffer from chronic insomnia. Those of you without insomnia might toss and turn in the bed after a stressful day. Sleeping problems are frequently caused by stress and worry. Our heart rate and blood pressure rise and our digestion slows down. It can be extremely difficult to fall asleep when our body's stress reaction is active. Progressive muscle relaxation is a technique that allows you to relax your muscles gradually. Relax all of your muscles one by one while you lay in bed. Remember to begin from your toes. After that, you may move on to your knees, thighs, stomach, and so on. Allow your brow to come last. Not only is it very calming, it also compels you to focus on actual parts of your body. Physical and mental relaxation will relieve stress. Studies prove that people who master relaxation techniques sleep a little longer at night. You'll find it easy to let go of troubling thoughts and ideas if you release tension from your body. Give your body some slack by lying on a flat surface. Take a deep breath and exhale slowly. Then, one region of your body at a time, squeeze and release. Take note of how relaxed your body is and appreciate it. While muscle relaxation exercises can be beneficial on their own, they may be more successful when paired with other sleep changes, such as keeping a constant sleep schedule and adopting sleep-promoting daily behaviors. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch and learn about 12 illnesses caused by low vitamin D. Now back to our talk on tips to soothe a racing mind. Number 4. 478 Breathing Can Calm Your Mind You've probably heard that deep breathing helps you relax, but it can also help you sleep. To sleep, your heart rate needs to slow down, and breathing methods are one of the most efficient ways to do this. Dr. Andrew Wells' 478 technique is a breathing rhythm he invented. 
It's likely that if this approach was used regularly, it'll help you fall asleep faster. When you lie down at night, the 478 approach compels your mind and body to focus on controlling your breath. People who do it believe it calms nerves and slows down a pounding heart. It's even been referred to as a natural tranquilizer for the nervous system. Following this method, you have to inhale four times, hold for seven, and then exhale for eight counts. Slow your heart rate by doing this for at least five to seven times. This is a very easy and effective technique for general relaxation and stress management. Number five, disconnect from all your gadgets. People of all ages are affected by technology in the bedroom. According to a poll, 95% of individuals use devices within an hour of going to bed. With the rise of smartphones, tablets, and e-readers, this has only gotten worse. According to recent surveys, around 75% of children and 70% of adults use electronic gadgets in their bedrooms before sleeping. Sadly, using electronic gadgets late at night can disrupt both the quantity and quality of sleep. Technology stimulates the brain, making it difficult to fall asleep. Also, when sleeping near technology, sounds and flickering lights may create unwelcome awakenings. Smart gadgets may also increase tension if you're reading distressing news on them. This will only give you something else to worry about. Using these devices will keep your brain occupied, leaving you less time to get some shut-eye. To shut off your busy mind, it's best to switch off your gadgets one to two hours before bedtime. If that's not possible, try 30 minutes. Number six, maintain a regular sleep routine. One of the foundations of sleep hygiene is going to bed and waking up at the same time every day. Finding the right hour to go to bed can be hard, as everyone has a different schedule. But if you go to sleep at a decent time, it can benefit your mental and physical health. If you attempt to go to bed early while your brain isn't ready, it'll focus on other things, keeping your brain active and alert. This can keep you up until the early hours of the morning. But if you find that eight to nine hour sweet spot, your sleep will only improve, making you a lot happier during the day. Number seven, establish a brain power down routine. Many people seem to believe that sleeping is similar to breathing. It's something your body will accomplish on its own. However, that's not the case. Modern day living creates so much stimulation during the day that the brain now operates at warp speed. If you don't give your mind some time to relax, it will continue to do so at bedtime. Start your preparations at least 30 minutes before bed and then do something soothing like listening to music or reading. If you do it constantly, your body will learn to expect sleep following that relaxation session. If your sleep has been disrupted, getting out of bed and doing something to occupy yourself can work wonders. This can include reading a book or completing a small task around the house. As soon as you begin to feel drowsy, go back to bed again. You should fall asleep shortly after this. Everyone has restless nights where no matter what you do, you just can't seem to sleep. It's when they happen time and time again that you need to be concerned. There's so many different tips that can help you. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more sleep-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the six best foods to help you sleep better. Or how about 10 life hacks to get a good night's sleep? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn how little things in your nightly routine can help you get the sleep that you need. Do you or anyone you know find it hard to calm down their racing mind? Let us know in the comments below.